Well, today in the news, an 8 and a 10 year old went into a convenience store in Oakland with a plastic gun or a fake gun and tried to rob the place. 8 and 10. So the guy noticed it was a fake gun. He called the cops. The cops came, swooped the kids up, took them back to their parents pretty much. Um, there's one person uh, commented. She's at the gas station, and she commented that what would make these little kids go do this? Um, what social economic situation would force a bunch of <laughs> preteens to go try to rob uh, AMPM? Uh, and this one guy says he would have handled the situation different. He would have slapped both the kids and sent them on their way. What is so... Like, why would an 8 and a 10 year old try to rob a gas station it's mind blowing um, that these young kids know the significance of a dollar to the point that they would want to rob to get a fistful of them um, it's sad um, for this to be happening in this day and age that children want to take the initiative to try to bail their families out or to better their families. Little kids. Um, it's just a sad day. Um, other than that, well, that's pretty much all I got. I'm, I'm editing videos right now, so that's what I'm doing, editing these videos, so I can go ahead and put them up on Tube Watcher. Um, I gave you a sample last week of what the video I'm working on right now. I'm having a lot of technical problems with the computers and everything. Um, uh, all the different uh, video clips and everything that I put together in this video put like this a 10 minute video shouldn't take 8 hours to render or to mix down every time I mix down this video it's either 2 gigs or um, I don't want to lose any quality so that's why I'm still trying to download it big so then that way when I shrink it again you still get the high quality sound and video um, now I'm just working on the credits um, I shrank it down and remixed it like twice. So what I'm going to do now is work on the credits. And then the video will be up on Tube Watcher, say, maybe Sunday. Um, a version of this video will go on YouTube. It'll be shorter. I'm going to try to make the YouTube version like two minutes. I gave you 20 seconds. Uh, just I could just give you the, the credits. But um, I won't do you like that. Um... That's pretty much it for today. Um, you got my phone number, call me. Um, I got on the phone yesterday to AT&T, and I told AT&T my situation. AT&T waived in that last two months. They, in other words, they threw 200, like they threw $160 out so I can keep my phone going. AT&T is awesome. Um, they didn't, they could have just cut me off. They didn't have to waive those bills. Um, AT&T is awesome. I just said it. Uh, so those of you who got a phone service, switch to AT&T because they take care of you when the socioeconomic situation didn't. So, um, and if you're having problems with AT&T, then they suck. But other than that, um, Jeez, I'm stuck, so I guess that'll be it for today. Um, if this video goes good, uh, it's going to be reviewed by my guitar man. He's the uh, one of the producers for like that. He's one of the producers of these videos that I'll be doing. And if he gives the okay, I'll go ahead and put the version that's already ready for air on YouTube. If he does not give the okay, then this version, which I truly believe that uh, the first two times I mixed this video... It didn't come out the way I wanted it. It wasn't the way I envisioned it. So what I did was I took the video that didn't come out right and put it in a different video uh, mixing uh, program, spliced it up again, and put it back together. So I took out some of the anomalies, but the original mix down is still going. So um, that video that I put together is very visual. It's pretty entertaining. And... Um, if he gives the approval, it'll go up on YouTube today. If he doesn't give the approval, then it won't go up because this is a video 
that was based off of a mistake. In other words, I took the the edited video that didn't come out the way I wanted to, and I spliced it and re-edited it to a manner in a fashion to where as people could watch it and understand what I was trying to do, but they can't really get the full grasp of what I wanted to do because it's not exactly the way I wanted it. So let me go ahead and end this video by saying thank you to AT&T and may God bless our children because they shouldn't have to go rob people at 8 and 10 years old with plastic guns going in a convenience store. It's not like they was, uh, you know, caught another little kid and tried to take his lunch money. No, they went in the convenience store with the gun and demanded money. Um, hopefully they'll get some help. Um, damn. Like I said, um, I got to go start editing these videos. I got to go. I got to go register at the um, homeless shelter so I can get some benefits. Um, one more thing. Uh, they confiscated my driver's license. Then I got a court order for them to release my driver's license back to me. I gave the police the court order. They say they don't have the driver's license. The driver's license has been remailed to the Department of Motor Vehicles. I get a hold of the Department of, the Department of Motor Vehicles. They do not have my driver's license. There's not a hold or anything wrong with my license. My license is completely legal. Now, I had to prove that I had a driver's license in order to pay a ticket. I can't prove that I have a driver's license unless I go buy a new one. Now, you say to yourself, um, okay, they confiscated your driver's license. Fine, just go buy a new one. In today's economy, I do not have another $30 to replace an ID that I just replaced so I can take care of this ticket. That's completely illogical for me to have to go spend another $28 to get another ID because the police decided not to give me my ID back. Now in the state of California it is against the law to be caught without identification. Not to be caught like doing something wrong but if the cops just say you know who are you da da blah blah you have no ID you can go to jail for that. Now the thing that they gave me the temporary ID is non-legal. It's not legal it doesn't work. I tried to use it and it don't work. So in other words, they placed me behind the eight ball and they placed me behind a rock in a hard place. So in other words, I can't go here and I can't go there because you can't do anything without a driver's license. I need my L's, so to speak. Well, that's just my drama. They took my driver's license. Now they don't have it. Now I need to go buy a new one in order to, to, to prove my case. Not this case, but another case. It's just a fix-it ticket. But without that driver's license, that means I didn't have one on that day. They don't look it up. They, 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 the computers don't work like that, to where you can look at a certain date and tell if somebody had a driver's license or insurance. The computers don't work like that. But you have to have a driver's license and insurance to drive. Okay? So all kind of crap went down. Blah, 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 blah. I'll see you soon. If you found any knowledge in this, 838, pass it on.